All right, guys, this morning we're arriving at the coast of New England and we're gonna be traveling to an island that is only accessible by boat. Now, while this might not seem like a likely location to find reptiles, some of these islands are home to abundant populations of smooth green snakes, which is a species that's becoming increasingly uncommon in other parts of its range due to things like pesticide use to control insect populations, which is their main food source. So we're gonna be arriving at the marina in just a few minutes here and uh, we will see you guys on the island. Well, uh, we are finally on the island, which we're excited about. In just a few moments, we're gonna be flipping rocks and walking around and hoping to come across a couple snakes. But uh, one unfortunate little bit of news is that we did take a casualty on the way here. First time I've just totally KO'd a camera. I was filming some B-roll off the edge of the boat and right into the open lens, took a huge wave, soaked the camera. Now it's making all sorts of funny noises, but we've got the DSLR, the GoPro, and uh, cell phones, so not my preference, but we're gonna roll with it and make the best of this video. <laughs> All right, so we've got the first promising piece of cover right here, a nice piece of driftwood. Uh, I'm excited for this. I'm hoping there's something under it. Let's see. Nothing. Dang. <laughs> All right, so we got our first green snake right here. You can see him sticking his little head out, just as found. I'm gonna see if I can get him. Oh, it's big and gravid. That's gorgeous, oh my God. Wow. That's so green. All right, so check this out. Isn't this awesome? This is one of the most, oh my God. It's just one of the most vibrant green snakes I've ever seen. It's like emerald green, it has bluish hues to it. It's so much darker green and more vibrant than any that I've seen anywhere else. And uh, I guess that might be unique to this northern population on the islands, but it's just absolutely stunning. So, so cool. And uh, it's pretty clear that this is a gravid individual. Right here you can see it's really thick in the back section. And for that reason, we're gonna keep the encounter pretty short and we're gonna put the snake right back in the rocks where we found it and uh, I'm sure that we're gonna go find some more. So, so, so awesome. Look at this thing, this is stunning. This is like the most vibrant green snake I've ever seen by far. Wow, beautiful. And literally right by the ocean, that's amazing. We're going to let this big, gravid, likely gravid girl go and uh, keep looking around, but that's spectacular. Look at that head bobbing motion that they do to imitate the wind. That's just spectacular. Holy smokes. Here you go, buddy. See you later. All right, so here's a common sight in these rocky coastal habitats. I mean, these islands are just absolutely <laughs> loaded with poison ivy, which is uh, 
a little bit challenging in terms of catching the snakes when they slither out from under rocks or out into the open or just traversing from spot to spot. It seems like this stuff is everywhere and uh, I'm pretty allergic so obviously I'm going to be careful of it. But we're going to keep looking around and hopefully we don't have any bad interactions with this stuff. Ooh, red belly. All right, here's a cute little red-bellied snake. Nice orange belly. I'm gonna let it go back under its rock here. We're gonna keep looking. That's a good one. All right, check this out. We just missed the flip clip, but oh my God, double flipped a red belly and a green snake, a ring neck got away. And then it's just a rock over. We got this huge gravid green snake, but oh my goodness, look at that. That's awesome. We're going to get some footage of these guys and we're going to keep looking. I'm going to have to be better about filming the rest of the flips because we just flipped like 20 rocks with nothing except a wasp sting in the ankle <laughs> and then we flip three in a row and get this stuff so it seems like we've got a good section here let's get a little footage of these guys and then we're gonna keep looking wow that is so awesome Whoop. all right one last look at these guys i'm kind of switching between gopro cell phone, DSLR, and I'm hoping it all works out. But anyway, wow, what a special place we're at. Right at the edge of the ocean here. Right, here we go. See you later, snakes. Wow, so cool. We're gonna keep looking. Got one. Oh, oh, oh no, I lost it. <laughs> Dang it. Well, we're in the right area. It went into poison ivy, I would have gotten it. Ooh, big red. I lost it. Yeah. All right, so check this out. On the path up here. Beautiful little one. That's awesome. Look at you, buddy. I'm gonna get some footage of it with uh, my camera before it moves. Yeah, so they imitate the wind. Isn't that so cool? Whoa. Jeez, buddy. Spaz. These have to be one of my favorite species. Look at that. That's just unreal. How could a snake like this exist? Over here. Up in the north where we get cold winters. It's ridiculous. Absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't even look real. That's so cool. We were just walking from spot to spot. This thing's on the path. So neat. All right, we're just gonna move this thing in the direction it was going. Beautiful snakes, absolutely gorgeous. And look at this, they disappear right into the vegetation where they hunt bugs and inchworms, stuff like that. So look, you can barely see them right there. That's awesome. We're gonna keep looking. All right, well, it's getting later in the day here and uh, we gotta hop back on the boat and get back to the mainland. So we're on our way to do that now, um, but this is gonna be the end of the video. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this and I will catch you guys 
in the next one. Hello.